Welcome back to Brand Social Live. Today I will be doing an improvisation and just creating something really abstract. So just let's get started. This is Blender 3.0 and I have Sphere Chalk add-on which will uh, I will use later. I'll start with a cube and I go to edit mode, hitting tab, right click, merge vertices at center. And then we can just extrude. So you might can guess um, I'll be using um, actually skin modifier. Not many people use skin modifier, but I think it's really quite powerful. And you can just extrude from points and you are basically drawing using points. I know you might think, okay, why don't you just, uh, you just use like a grease pencil. Grease pencil is also pretty cool for this kind of abstract creations. But skin modifier can be really handy um, as well. So we have like this. If you want to do something that's a little bit more like drawing, you can use the command right click method. So this is also kind of useful. So select a point and then command right click, right click, right click. So you can do this thing and create like a quick branching. This method is actually really good for creating like tree and branching, those sort of thing. So you can use skin modifier, right? Skin modifier, and then you can go to edit mode, and then you can use X-ray, and then hit A, Control A. You can adjust th the thickness. So this is also pretty cool because um, after this. You can use uh, something like uh, geometry nodes. Okay, but before I do that, let me save. So skin modifier, etc. So I just did random things using skin modifier. You can of course use mirror before skin modifier. This is also pretty cool because you can bisect or flip. Yeah, maybe this is even better. And just hit apply and I think you can create armature. So the armature is the bone is already like mirror and this is something that you can you can use with the skin modifier. If I'm not wrong by default it's already is also skinned. Yeah, not many people actually know this technique. Okay, so with this, of course, skin, armature, you can use geometry nodes, turn off x-ray, and now we are inside geometry nodes, and maybe we can use like a distribute points, you can create like an abstract looking things, so we can... So this is like scattering points on the surface of the skin modifier, right? So you can instance also geometry. Let's try just cube as instance. Now we have something that's pretty cool looking. Uh, you can <clears throat> you can also use like a uh, rotations align rotation to vector and this will align it into the maybe we can align it to the normal yeah maybe this is what you want instead of using cube maybe use cylinder or even like a cone cone might be most interesting can adjust the depth the radius top and radius bottom so more or less you have like something that looks like a like a fur coming out of your character try all kind of variations uh, maybe point radius also size scale Okay, point scale, scaling the points. We 
we can increase increase the density yeah I think that's should be okay we are, remember we are still I think still able to pose our character and if I'm not wrong this is still still a skin modifier so you can go to edit mode and you can adjust the shape of your skin okay so at the very end you can actually just use remesh use a smaller resolutions and you have something really abstract that you can pose whatever there's another method that I want to show you as well uh, using Sverchok. Remember, we can bring armature into Sverchok. And remember, we can like list zip the head and the tail. And we can output it as a polyline viewer. So this is pretty, pretty neat. Unwrap. So we, we end up with a lot of curve. Each and every curve is representing the the curve edge or the polygon edge of the skin modifier. All right, so we can we can merge it into a single object. So in the end, we have just this alpha object from Sverchok. Let me put this to the side, and this alpha object. This is just a curve. This is Blender three point zero alpha in this version I, I noticed that we can actually use geometry nodes with a curve so I didn't know that before and then we actually have like a points data so point positions data which is pretty cool because we can perhaps subdivide I wonder if this is actually working. Anyway, a geometry node seems to be working and you can maybe use the point to volume. Okay, so point to volume is working and we can control the radius. Cool. So maybe we can actually subdivide as well. So yeah. We can subdivide the curve and then we we can use geometry nodes with point volume and this is a side, uh, like working on the on a curve so because we can now use volume to mesh okay it's really it's really strange that and really cool that this actually work so it's from something like skin modifier that's that has its own armature we can use this armature with Sverchok to convert it into back into curve, and with a curve, we can we can start to do like something like uh, converting it into volume and then instance. Okay, point instance with geometry. This is let let me try again. Cylinder instance geometry. Okay, so we have cylinder being instanced on the curve volume objects, and then we can use rotation, align rotation to vector, just aligning it into the normal once again. Okay, yeah, now it's looking really cool. Pretty unusual technique I know this seems to be working um, yeah what else can we do here we can randomize further this so this this point to volume and volume to mesh seems to be creating really nice uh, equal size along the surface of the curve 
Okay. So what else? Uh, point to volume, volume to mesh. We can actually use distribute point distribute here. So once it become a mesh, we can randomize the positions. And then we can use point scale or randomize randomize the scale of our points using its vector in the z-axis so basically it's almost like a fur like a fur and at the very end you can you can connect this back into the bone if you want to. So this is like a geometry representing bones for our creature. So from here, this is still connected to geometry nodes. This guy is not connected, but I think you can skin the curve into this guy as well. It might crash. Oh, actually, they no, they might need to be in the same position. Anyhow, you just kind of see like very strange technique of using skin modifier. And then, because skin modifier can generate um, armature on the fly based on the polygon edge. So, yeah, this kind of modifier, it's very complicated, yeah, but uh, yeah, because you are also using geometry nodes, and at some point, we are also using sphere chop to convert the armatures into curve and converting curve into volume and volume back into geometry that you can combine, just combine together, you know, with the, with our creature. So let's put this back to the positions. Maybe we just merge all together and then skin it into the armature. It might fail. So next time maybe I, I'll do something that less random than this yeah so the curve the curve doesn't seem to update anyhow we can just convert all of this into mesh or instance um, remesh might work Remesh doesn't work. Let me get back to geometry nodes. Point instance. Remesh. Yeah, I think from here, um, from geometry nodes, that's based on the curve. And if you want to convert it back into mesh, you might, you might need to have, you might need to use sphere chalk actually. That's even stranger so back to sphere job get object data get our selections alpha turn on post modifier okay this is what we get somehow it doesn't like our instance geometry so maybe that's gonna be for a future video, but yeah, we create something that's really unusual using skin modifier. All right, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.